If they've really got their queen, and Nas is right about what happens next, we need a new plan. No, we need the old plan. We need the Hammer of Dawn. Oh, thank God. You need a ride. How'd you find us? You think I'm gonna give you a one-of-a-kind piece of tech without the ability to track it to the center of the planet? <laughs> yeah, yeah, fine. And speaking of one-of-a-kinds, help me hook up this skip. You find what you're looking for? Yeah. And now we need to kill it. Is she, you know, all right? Not really. But let me ask you something. How long would it take to get the Hammer of Dawn up and running? Funny you should ask. The data drive you found months ago about the UIR. Yeah? Interesting stuff. Interesting how? You'll see. And lucky for us, I have an old UIR contact. Take us home, Sam. Got it, sweet cheeks. Union of Independent Republic secret space program. Never been in UIR territory before. You still haven't. Vascar was independent. The UIR had the pleasure of occupying, no, excuse me, liberating this glorious land. Okay, remember how I told you only pissed off nomads lived out here now? Meet Garen Paddock, the most pissed off and nomadic of them all. This is your old UIR contact? Two things I dislike, Baird. The cog and children. You've brought me both. Two things I dislike? Old men and deserts. And yet, here we are. Ha! <laughs> I like this one. Follow me. <laughs> so, it turns out the UIR space program went way beyond what the cog publicly revealed. Somewhere in this Cosmodrome here, there's a rocket loaded with functional Hammer of Dawn satellites. I think we can get the entire system back online and start hitting the swarm where they live. If the UIR has satellites during the Pendulum Wars, why didn't you use them? The politicians wanted their armistice. Launching those satellites would have guaranteed another century of war. But still, Summon our military tried to launch. It kinda triggered a small civil war, actually. So we know this Cosmodrome's layout. Where are the satellites? Try the rocket hangar. Here. And the wind flares are too severe to fly over that desert. So that's where your skiff comes in. Question. How do we know these satellites are still functioning? Or if they're even compatible with ours? Answer. We don't. And that's where you come in. Unless you're too cowardly. Or stupid. Or weak. <laughs> Who is that? A friend, believe it or not. But for now, get to know the layout of that place. There's a good chance most of it's buried in sand. Oh, and uh, come and see me before you go. Notice the part where no one's sure this will work. I don't care. We'll make it work. We have to. Maybe it's time you told me exactly what you saw in that machine. It's not what I saw. It's... It's what I felt. They have a queen now. They're not gonna stop. Look, I woke her up. So I have to stop her. Yeah, but this isn't all on you. 
Come on. Let's just go see Baird. People really used to go on vacation, huh? Can't imagine. They did. At least before the UIR took this place over. You're here. Grab this module off the table. Jack's about due for an upgrade. Yeah, we don't exactly have all the time in the world for this. module isn't going to install itself. Just saying. Done. What's it do? Follow me. So a couple of days ago, I sent Paddock a care package. Some DBs and some leeches. Hmm. Intriguing. Potentially disastrous, but intriguing. Thank you. See, the way you described Niles' machine gave me an idea. I call it hijack. Go ahead. Try it out. You coming over here? Override the hive mind? Uh, no. Jack just floods their brains with voltage. It's crude, doesn't last long, but it works. So which swarm can we use? It for? Well, our test subject data is limited, obviously, but uh, you know what? Go nuts out there. See what happens. Oh, uh, one more thing. Stop by and see Paddock before you go. He's out front. One more thing, Baird. Once we get this hammer up, I need to know if I can rely on you. Don't worry about that. This time, we're gonna do it right. You know what happened to Lizzie in the convoy? It wasn't your fault. Kind of you to say, but I'm the one who pushed the button. I had a bad feeling about it. I didn't want to do it, but I did. So that's on me. Speaking of, uh, all that, have seen JD around lately? Try my best not to, kid.
Hey, did you hear that Patty guy's accent? It's the Yeah, and? And they kind of had a rep back in the day. Torture, war crimes. Remember where I come from, the cog had the same rep. Until a few weeks ago, we were holding out fine against your so-called swarm. Then, everything changed. They got smarter. Suddenly, they were wearing armor. And they started making keys. Take one, if you want. So, you all have been fighting the swarm alone? Yes, which is why I agreed to let Bear come here. We help you with your rocket launch. You help us take back our land. Speaking of which, our water supply has been cut off. We've been trying to restore it, but... Your swarms made that difficult, to say the least. Getting the hammer up's our priority, but say we help. What do you need? Our water tower. You'll pass it on the way out. Haven't heard from my people there in a while. Could be nothing, could be something. Check in if you can. All right. And now the big question. Are your children really prepared for this? Because your skiff's ready on the runway, and the desert awaits. So, I suppose you're curious about how Baird and I met. Yeah, sure. General Carr, Alvo Bay, the light masters. I doubt these words mean much to you. Don't be so sure. Well, it might amuse you to know. I fought for the call once, alongside your friend Bear. He showed me that not all call are bad. They're just mostly bad. Okay. Good talk. training in the Deadlands back in OCS. Let me know if you want a few desert parks. You know, only one of us grew up in a city, and it wasn't me. I think I can handle it. Okay. Actually... Because you can't. Kate. Maybe you should try listening for once. Kate. I'm listening. Yeah, well, don't bother. I'm done. Okay. Because I'm here to help. If you'll have me. I'm sorry. What? Dad told me about Mount Kadar. What you learned. And... 
Look, I, I know you don't trust me. After everything that happened, what I've done, I, I don't blame you. So what does Jen think about you being here? Jen doesn't know. Really? And let me guess, he's here to pitch in too? Yeah. Turns out, Foz isn't so bad. No, I am actually. You just got used to me. Who the hell are they? Friends. They'll be joining us. Yeah? I don't like them. Shocker. You want these two along? Fine. But I deal with you, not them. You good with that? Like I said, I'm here to help. Baird. Come on, then. Let's hop in that raven and find some satellites. No, raven. The wind flares out there will kill you. So what? We walk there. Hey, man. If you want to walk, feel free. But we got other plans. Oh, it's not that skiff, is it? OK, man. Before we go, I got a bone to pick. A big one. Sure. Pick away. You lied to me. And then, after you got hurt, you pushed us away. Like, like we didn't even know you. Well, I haven't exactly been to myself, though. I know that. So who showed up today? Your friend. For what it's worth, I tried to give it. Embrace all JD. There's something about you. All right, I know why we're here. But where are we going? An old rocket hangar, to the east. And just a heads up, the Nomads can use some help, too. Then let's do it. <laughs> Hold up, man. You can't just say, let's do it, and make the last few months disappear. No, come on. No, it's okay. Let him get it out. <laughs> no, 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 see, that's not fair. You're being unreasonable, and I want to stay mad. Then stay mad. I'm not here to prove anything. Just here to help. As am I. So it appears his decency is rubbing off on me. Delta, Paddock just let me in on something. It's kind of relevant. When the UIR base commander thought he was going to lose to the Rebels, he infected all military computers with some sort of boot sector virus. Meaning most of the tech we'll find out here has been bricked for decades. Yeah. Jack should be able to power past any remaining malware and reboot the machine. He just needs access. All right, Baird. Understood. Hey, I'm guessing that's the water tower Paddock mentioned. We're going to check it out. something. Looks like a, I don't know, a space station or something. We're checking it out. Ah, good. You're near the old cosmonaut training facility. But before you go in, you should know something. I mentioned that the UIR's military attacked that facility and tried to launch our Hammer of Dawn satellites. But I didn't mention I led the attack. You did? Why? To destroy the cog. Oh, naturally. Paddock, is there anything inside this place or not? Yes. The Hammer of Dawn's targeting beacons, as it happens. I was going to have my people get them for you. But since you're there, you may as well head inside. Wilco. I'm sorry, targeting beacons? For the Hammer of Dawn? UIR-10. Super advanced in some areas, old and busted in others.
All right, let's see what we got in here. Help me. Paddock, we're in. Okay. I was certain the targeting beacons were inside that facility, but the base commander's virus locked down every building before I could find out. Until your bot overrides that virus, you won't find out either. Hey, don't worry. Jack's got this. Tell him, buddy. Look for a terminal to access in the lobby security office. Jack, pulse! Mm -hmm. There's our security terminal. Just need a way for Jack to access it. Maybe that'll show us a way to get in there. Guys, what if we send Jack through that bed? Send Jack through that bed. Jack, see if that vent will get you to the security office. Paddock, where do we start looking once we lift the virus? The centrifuge building. The beacons were most likely hidden there. Centrifuge, got it. But move quickly. A storm is headed your way. Delta. Same for Jack could do it. I swear. Paddock, Jack cracked the virus. We're in. Then you now have full access to the entire facility. That's gotta be the center here. And storm or no storm, we're heading over there. That's not a good sign. Right condor. Yo, Bear, you lose a condor by any chance? Several, in fact. While running weapons to a certain, you know, desert dwelling mm -hmm. friend of mine. Keep whatever you find. Uh, okay. Solid copy.
I can't believe Baird's sent the Magara. You're having trouble believing Baird did something covert? Really? Yeah, I'll put it that way. Looks like we're gonna have to go through that storm to get there. Let's make it quick. I haven't run into any swarm yet. That's a fairly good sign. Don't hold your breath. We can panic civil war in the weather. They crawled it anywhere. Well, you called it! Look who's here! You got a scion! And it's got a bastard! Come on, let's put these assholes down! Star neutralized. We gotta deal with that Scion! One less. On me, up here. <laughs> oh, hard shell spacesuits? How advanced was the UIR space program? Oh, 
all right? So, all the exits are blocked. Now what? Jack, activate that crate. Well, that didn't work. Then we try another one. Let's hope this one holds. Jack, let's do it again. That's the ticket. TVs weren't corrupted. Come on, this way. They're down! 
Let's get inside! Help me get this open. those beacons. Let's check the security cameras. Well, look who is. Oh shit, more of them. Guys, look. Beacons are tucked away in the castle. Yeah, but how do we get them out? We could break the arm around. There's a platform right over there. Worth a shot. Jack, see what you can do? That knack of thing still works. But it's not slowing down. Oi! Oh. What did you do? This thing's older than you are, man! Jack's not a miracle worker! What about an emergency break? Well, there's some controls in the base. Come on, come on, let's get this thing stopped.
news, we should at least verify it. I don't even want to finish that sentence. Come on then, 
If it's bad news, we should at least verify it. I don't even want to finish that. Don't we have some things to do? I'm all on the skiff. I'll have my people transport them. Fine, but Delta, I need one here ASAP to get a head start on calibrating them to our network in New Ephira. Can you do that? Yeah, I'll we'll, uh, carry it to the skiff. <laughs> well, that's heavy. All right, Baird, we're heading back. Paddock, send your people for the rest of these beacons when you can. Delta, let's get back to the skiff. You know, if Paddock's sending folks out here, we should probably clear out the rest of the storm. There's also enough people today. Yeah, sorry guys. I'm not gonna be much use in a firefight at the moment. Stay close to me, mate. You can't. Let's okay, let's go. Diddy, you good? Yeah, just lead the way. Well, storm's no better. If anything, it's worse. Too bad. We're going back into it. Our way out on the other side!
Ah, oh, shit. The door's welded shut. Jack, rip the door and hurry. Surprise it, no one. We got more small coming in. Can we hold them off? Keep it safe. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Bit of the world, no pressure. Hear that? Storm's died now. Yeah, now that it was fruit. Come on, let's check on the skiff. the other side. All right, Delta. Let's get that beacon to the skiff. JD, you gonna make it? Yep, it's not too bad. We need to decide whether we're bringing that beacon straight back to bed or not. I agree with Fox. Oh, man. Those words in that morning? Come yeah, I know. And it happens more than you think. One thing I don't get, this wasn't UIR territory originally. So why'd they build their Hammer of Dawn program so close to the cog border? Vasgari technology, my friend. It's what we're known for. We invented the transistor, the microchip. 
Of course, while we were making the world a more civilized place, our neighbors were inventing tanks and rifles and missiles. I reckon the UIR moved in, found some lovely facilities, and said, oh, hello, we'll take that. Piss off, thanks. I mean, where's the most devious possible place to build your super weapon? Right along your enemy's border. Brilliant, really. Hey, big fella. Let's get you a boy. I'll take that vacation. So our paddock's no man's up to the task of holding back the rest of those beacons. Yeah, I was wondering the same thing.